We are here at London Aesthetics UK, Pakistan, and we're taking a surprise visit at the chief dental officer for London Aesthetics here in Lahore and Islamabad. Let's go and see what he's doing. Follow me. Good afternoon, Dr. Farouk. Good afternoon. I did have uh, a scheduled appointment a little bit later, but I thought if I arrived here in time that I can catch you in the middle of doing something fantastic. Yeah, you are in time. Okay, well, um, we're, we're, we're coming in with my little camera crew, but essentially, it looks like you have a patient there. Yeah. Okay, but you yourself, I, I just, I won't take up much of your time. What is your name, first of all? This is uh, Dr. Muhammad Farouk Yazam. Okay. And uh, I graduated from Lahore Medical and Dental College in 2006. Okay. And after that, I pursued my uh, career with the government uh, hospitals. And uh, I worked at different hospitals, and now I'm working at Punjab Dental Hospital for like since 2014. Oh, really? So, what inspired you to become a mouth person, a person that goes into somebody else's mouth? So, you're not into your mouth, you're into other people's you mouths. You know what? The dentists, they are born surgeons. Mm. So, they are artists, they are engineers, they are, they are multiple things in one go. Like, they have to engineer things, they have to make the map, the architect things, and they have to reproduce it. Wow, I never heard nobody explain it that way. Yeah. Are you the first one on the planet that explains it that way? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I never heard, I never heard it because I, I have dental friends back in California, New York. No one has ever described it that way. That's interesting, but it's true. So, so for you, I mean, is that true? That's not your passion in life, though, is it? Wouldn't you rather be, I don't know, playing golf or flying a jet or doing some or something different? No, no, I, I love doing my work. You love it? Yeah, I love it. And so you've been, you've been, you actually been doing this since like 2006? No, no, I'm doing it since like, since I graduated in 2006 and I've been working in my, under my undergrad levels as well since 2003. 2003. Oh, wow. So it's, oh, wow, this is. 2020 so it's been 20 years exactly. congratulations oh that's fantastic did you guys hear that two two decades wow so you're you're what we would call a veteran okay beautiful so tell me this now you are considered and and we did our research you are considered i mean i i'm not going to say any names but it sounds like you do like some high governmental officials and other stuff. You you actually, many of your lists are private names that you can't even disclose. Is that true? Yeah, that is. Okay, yes. so, and so it's basically put it in simple terms, your list of many clients are secret. You can say that. Okay, can say that. It's, it's discretion, you, you you have discretion, so. We do, we do keep uh, secrecy of everything, like it's a person, personal, doctor's personal relationship, Okay. We don't disclose things. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs>